there were five specific questions that you really get readers to think through. Maybe we can do a minute or so on each of these questions. Okay. The first question that hit me is when you talk about, just answer the question, who am I? Who am I? <laughs> uh, in this existence. Right. Same word. Where, where are you trying to take the reader there? I wanted them to understand it's not about your name, rank, and serial number, right? It, when you say, who am I? That's not the question you're asking yourself. You're asking yourself, who am I being in this lifetime? What what is, what am I standing for, right? Yeah. What, what is my meaning of being here? You know, there, there, there's a great line and it says that there are two days that are the most important days of your life. It's the day you're born and the day you find out why. And I think mm. underlying in the whole uh, context of these questions. So wow. The next question was, um, why am I here? Why am I here? Why, why again, am I here? Again, you know, who am I and why am I here? You know, those are questions we actually some at some point or some in, junk, <clears throat> in that introspective moment that we have with ourselves. Sometimes it takes, you know, meditation and, uh, you know, there's all kinds of ways to get there. But we say that to ourselves, you know, Carolyn Miss writes a lot of good books about this is she says there's a hole in the universe where you were supposed to be if you don't do it. So, you know, it's, it's kind of like, why am I here? What is my purpose? So that's, you know, and some of us are lucky. Um, Leo, I think you're one of the lucky ones because I think you found your passion early in life. You were really in the right place from the beginning of your career. It appears to me it just has escalated since. But some of us are in the wrong place and we have to get out of there and make the right decisions for ourselves. And sometimes they're difficult. It, it's, it's interesting, Dola, just building on that. When you find the answers to who am I and why am I here, the answer to that proposition, let's say, yeah. of I'm here to help people to be the best version of themselves or whatever, it's almost like that life mission statement. The light bulb, like the light behind me, goes off at a higher level. It, right. it's, there's, a, there's another um, expression I've heard for he to enkindle another. He himself must glow. Yeah. And, and you glow. You oh, glow. Thank you. So do you. And, and, yeah. and your help and you're helping others. Yeah. The that light bulb is within you and others can feel it to do this. That that third question you ask, what should I and must I do? Yeah. Say more to that, please. Again, uh, you know, some people they can't help it. They have to do this, right? They from their time they were 10 years old, they knew they wanted to be an artist. From the time they were five, they were singing. Whatever, some people are lucky enough to have that passion early on and understand it and know it and pursue it. God bless them. Some of us take a little longer. You know, what should I do with my life? What must I do with my life? Is there a must for me? Do I have a passion? It is said that everybody has a passion. It's your job to find out why, you know, what that is. Well, I, I, or not why, but what that is, what that passion is. It's um, I have another good saying where it says that um, the day we were born is uh, it, it, uh, our lives are God's gift to us, and what we do with our lives are our gifts to God. So I kind of like that. I like that that resonates. Yeah. You, know? you know that it's funny that third question, what should I and must I do? I didn't realize it. I know yeah. you see me do this for this oxygen mask. Oh. I didn't fully realize it till I had an oxygen mask on and I was on a descending flight, mm -hmm. looking out of a window, thinking that my life could have been over in five minutes. Yeah. You know, as we lose air compression to 27,000 feet. Right. But what right. must I do? What, what should I do? That you haven't done. It became so apparent to me, like it was the only thing I needed to do once I safely got off that damn flight. Yeah. And you did it. And, and you got to have people, I, I think, believe through the book. They don't need to go that type. They don't need to experience that type of scenario. They yeah. can read the book and with the prompting from the questions, maybe come to grips with what they should and must do yes. to do this. So I applaud you for the, the role that you're taking here. The fourth question, am I working with a, with a predetermined lifespan? Where yeah. are you going with that? You know, that's a philosophical question. You know, some people believe we are predetermined. You know, our, our entry and our exit dates are predetermined that somewhere, you know, there's this 
notion that you come in this day and you're leaving this day no matter what. You know, you might be 20, you might be 80, but you're leaving. And yeah. I don't know. That's a question that we will never have answered, right, Leo? We will never know if it's predetermined. We just know that every day should matter. That's what we know. So that's the takeaway. Every day should matter, right? It's really right now. Every every second should matter. Absolutely. We we really can't take anything for granted. I mean, you you just get a two by four hit some days. Yeah. So where where the heck did this come from? I wasn't expecting this day. When you hear about losing a loved one or yeah, somebody cool. being injured or you know life changing to you know black swan events happening in their life, health mm -hmm. illnesses, you know associated with that divorces separations uh, being laid off as we there's so many black swan events that impact us every second matters yep yep so the last question what will it mean in the end yeah that's the legacy question right of the subject yeah. um what what have you done that has made an impact on anyone including yourself what have you done what has your life meant in the, whether you're here for 20 years or 80 years, what have you done that means something? Because at the end of the day, we want things to mean something. We want everything that we stood for to be either have helped somebody, helped ourselves, or meant something somewhere along the way. You know, yeah. whether we're doing it philanthropically or whatever we do, it has to be helpful to the universe, you know, in some way, to one person, 30 people, the universe, you know, it doesn't matter. Dole, I applaud you. These questions are so important. 